Welcome to Averno City. It may look peaceful from here, but trust me, it's rotten to the bone. That's where we come in, Averno's finest. We swore an oath to protect this city, to look out for the citizens walking those streets below. There's bad guys, and there's good guys, and then there's us, all balancing on a knife edge, fighting each other just to survive. But it's a fight we're losing, and everybody knows it. We're understaffed, underpaid, and overworked. Worse than that, we got targets on our backs, and every low-life punk and thug thinks they can take aim. Heck, a few of us might even deserve those targets. Not all of Averno's finest are that fine. We got our fair share of rot, too. What good is an oath of honor if you got no honor to betray? But me, I believe in the badge. That chunk of metal means something. And hey, some days the good guys come out on top. But most days, most days not so much. All the while, the fight rages on. The lucky ones get a flag and a plaque. The unlucky ones get a flag and a 21-gun salute. Why do we do it? The truth is, for some of us, it's all we know. But for others, it's in our blood. And they remain at large. Chandler, Sayers, you're covering downtown. Keep you got a bus. All right, I know you're dying to get out there. Can't wait. But before you all charge into the blue, I want to introduce you to our newest tender lamb, Fre- Bah! Where's Bo Peep when you need her? Yeah, I could tell you where she was last night. This officer graduated from the academy at the top of his class. Yeah, that and 50 cents will get you a cup of coffee. And Nick Cordell Jr. What? No way. We'll obviously have some big... Jesus, what the... Seriously? They assigned him here? Kowalski, if I may, I don't have to tell anyone in here about the late Chief Cordell. His stellar record, the respect you had for him. I especially don't have to tell Recruit Officer Cordell, who's lived with it every day of the last five years. Every single one of you took an oath to protect this city. It's residents. I don't care what your last name is, who your daddy was, or who you hang out with on your day off. Our worth comes from what we do. On it or hard on him. He's a cop. Just like you. Just like me. And Cordell, you're gonna have to learn the streets and the precinct the same way these mooks did. Are we clear? Yes, sir. Crystal, sir. Absolutely, sir. Thank you, officers. Appreciate it, Chief. Yeah, boss? The rook's with you. I pulled the last one. Why do you think I'm giving you... Because I did something in a past... You did something. Ugh. All right, squad. Let's get out there and make... Yes, ma'am. Time to pound pavement. Come on, rook. Let's... Uh, I guess we better earn our paychecks. Welcome to the ACPD, kid. Oh, and uh, don't worry about the fellas. Uh, I bet you learn all kinds of fancy driving at the academy, but for now, let's just take it slow and steady. Don't want to scratch the paint job on your first day. Swing by the hot dog stand in Chinatown. There's a parking bay there. Good job, rookie. Time for some chow. Ah, tube steak. Breakfast of champions. The works. A maximalist. I can re What's the damage, Fareed? Leo, my friend. For you, no charge. Fareed, you old softy. You earn that tip every time, don't you? Ah, breathe it in, kid. Best part of the day. Ah, of course you do. We came up to the academy together. Took different paths when we got on the force, though. Central to all units. Bank robbery in progress. Mercer ACB Bank on Mercer Street. Shots fired. 
Ah, Christ on a crutch. Another beautiful moment ruined. Ah, well. That's what they're paying us for, right? Central, this is Unit 84, responding code 3. 10484, be advised, suspects are heavily armed. Approach with caution. Okay, kid. You wanted the real deal? This is it. Remember, they get one warning. If they don't throw them down, we take them down. Get ready. Police! Freeze! Drop the weapon! Morons! Doesn't look like they're gonna give us a choice. Bookman in the ACTV Eye in the Sky, the number one news chopper in Averno City. We're downtown where police are engaged in a fierce shootout following yet another bank robbery. It's not clear yet whether this is the notorious August gang or... Uh, hold on, there's movement at the back of the building. More criminals coming out, they're boarding a vehicle. It's a dark van and it... Oh my goodness, keep it tuned to ACTV, folks. Looks like we're in for a police pursuit. You're too far away. Follow that vehicle. Take it easy. Roger. All right, that's enough. 84 to Central. We got a 1015. Pursuit has been terminated. Copy that, 84. All units stand down. I repeat, stand down. Whew, you did good, kid. Not everyone handles a pursuit like that on their first day.
Come on, Cordell. There's someone I want you to meet. Mean Gene? What's today's major? Oh, the usual. Misfiled evidence, sloppy dockets, illegible handwriting, contaminated evidence. Cordell, meet Eugene. Eugene Papadopoulos, at your service. Did Kelly try the old- Hey! <laughs> Thought so. He doesn't tend to lift a finger unless there's a gun drawn or a chance he might get pizza. Uh, we do our best. Oh, I'm well aware of this unit's, uh, limitations. Anyway. When you collect any evidence, you come see me. I'll make sure it's safe. You're a peach, Gene. Never wasn't planning on it. All right, kid. You did good today. But that won't mean a fart in a windstorm tomorrow. I'm out of here. Morning, Cordell. Tidy work yesterday. Keep that up and you'll be leaving Kelly in the dust before he even has time to retire. Love you too, Kowalski. I know we dropped you right into the thick of it on your first day, but- What she means to say is that parking tickets are how the city- Come on, Kelly, you know that isn't true. This city hasn't paid its bills in years. Regardless, today is gonna be about old-fashioned police work. Check your handbook for the violations to look out for. Let's see what Averno City has in store for us today. There are six different parking violations to look for. Blocking a hydrant, parking in the opposite direction of traffic, too close to a crossing or on the sidewalk. Oh, and of course, parking in the no parking zone. Oh, and don't forget expired parking meters. Just be sure a vehicle is parked illegally before issuing a ticket. <laughs> you can't take it back. Ah, here's one. Can you see what parking violation this bozo is committing? Come on, let's check some parking meters. People are allowed to use parking bays until the meter expires. When you inspect the meter, zero minutes remaining means it has expired. It's worth checking the meters at bays that are in use. There's a lot of people who don't like to pay their dues these days. Is it expired? Give him a ticket. Hey, you're getting the hang of this ticketing. You'll come across different crimes as you walk your beat. You could be issuing parking tickets one minute, then chasing an armed thug the next. My advice, be prepared for anything. Will you look at this? Write them up. You're a natural. Let's carry on. Got eyes on a vandal. Go handle it, kid. Control 1039 in progress. Copy that, Kelly. Issue the fine, and let's get out of here. You have the right to remain silent. Excellent! That handbook will help you stick to the rules. We should check for any more spray can bandits nearby. 
Graffiti is a type of vandalism, and only warrants a fine. Picasso there surrendered as soon as he saw us, so we didn't need to arrest him. That said, some criminals like to try their luck. They might throw a few punches, or they might take off. Both of those... Quit struggling. You have the right to remain silent. Hey, they attacked you. That's reason enough to arrest them. You waiting for a written invitation? Arrest them. Call an escort unit to take our suspect to the precinct. Let's walk back to the station, but keep our eyes peeled. We have a graffiti vandalism down here. Take it easy. Roger. Don't make it worse for yourself. Don't make it worse for yourself. Hey, you! Don't make it worse for yourself. as well escort this brain box ourselves. Just relax, will ya? In any case, we're going to need to keep this quiet. Got it. Ah, uh, Cordell. Come in. I want you to meet Detectives Lee and Ferreira, our top investigators working the organized crime beat. Heard about your baptism by fire at the bank the other day. Yeah. Log 200 more like that and you'll be a real Averno cop. I don't know. Look at him. I think he's got it in his bones. It's good to meet you, Cordell. Your pop was one of my heroes. That'll be all, gentlemen. So, Cordell. It seems your work at the bank the other day turned up a promising lead. A Mr. Michael McKenzie, rich guy, lives in a mansion on the north side. Tactical paid him a visit a few minutes ago, but it seems he was tipped off. Excuse me, sir. Bird is fueled, ready for wheel- Martinez, this is Officer Cordell. A rookie, sir? Is this the right time- It's the right time for you to obey orders. Yes, sir. See you up top, Cordell. I authorized you on this mission because I was impressed by your performance at the bank, Cordell.
gives us a 